So hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X and yes, today we are talking about yet another port. The camera setup for today's three videos will be a little different, but from tomorrow we will get back to the normal setup. That's a discussion for another day. Right now, we are talking about another ported ROM and this is Funtouch OS based on Android 11. I've been using it since yesterday. By no means this is a daily driver, but because this is something new, something different, it is worth taking a look at. Maybe in a couple of more releases, it will start looking better and you can try to use it as a daily driver. So before we get into the details of this particular port, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, you can join us on Telegram. We just completed 1500 members over there. We are present on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, let's see what we have here. This has been updated on the 18th of December 2021. Now, Funtouch OS is something that comes with Vivo phones. This phone here is a Xiaomi device. So, we've seen OnePlus software coming to this device. Now we have Vivo software coming here as well. So if you go to disclaimer, you have your standard surf in which it says your warranty is now void and you know, probably pause the video and read all of this before you flash it. Now you have the option of downloading. Now remember to go ahead and flash this particular ROM. You need to have a computer. Now this is by the team called the 90s guy. So go ahead and check that out. Now as far as the installation is concerned, as I said, you need a computer. You just need to make sure that you need to reboot the phone to fast boot mode, install the drivers. If your phone is not detected on the computer, double tap on install bat, format data, and it should be fine. So if you have stuck in boot loop, you should format data. Right now, let's talk about changelog, what they have done over here, because still a lot of things are to be done. Now we do have the initial released fixed random reboots. Trust me, it is not fixed yet. Fixed headphone jack. Okay, that's fine. Fixed fingerprint integrated GMS regional language support, right? Now, what about the bugs? Cam will fix in next build, but for me, Google Camera Go works fine. Double tap to wake, use YouTube, advanced if YouTube crashes, flashlight won't work. So these are the things that according to the developer are broken. And you do have a support chat over here called the 90s guy. You can go ahead and join there and you have the donate option as well. So. Vivo OS on a Xiaomi device, how does it feel? Now, you do have the screen refresh rate meter active over here. That's because it's switching between 120 and 60 Hertz. The funny part here is that if you go to UFO test, it will actually show you 60 FPS because this particular OS for some reason runs the browser on 60 FPS. So uh, even when scrolling, let's see here. Yeah. So anyways, we have the built-in refresh rate counter and it does show that the UI does work in 120 Hertz. So that's something really, really neat. Now, before we get into the details, let me show you a small bug that I noticed. It's actually not really a small bug, but let's see here. I'm trying to unlock the device like this. Okay. It has gone in a boot loop. Let's see here. It should reboot in a boot. As you can see now you would ask me why are we covering a rom that is not even ready to be you know used as a daily driver well the reason for that is remember these guys who are porting these particular roms are trying to bring different experiences to our device and that is the reason it is even more important to showcase what is coming next at the same time so that you know you don't go ahead and waste your time of flashing a rom and then you know experiencing the annoying bugs on your primary phone it's better that I go ahead and give it a try and then let you know what is working and what is not working. There are a lot of things that are working though, right? But that doesn't make this device to qualify or this particular ROM to qualify as a daily driver. You do have the Vivo splash screen or boot animation over here. Let's wait for the phone to boot up and then I can show you some features around here and there. Okay, so let's see here. It's taking a while to get unlocked. Okay. So you do have a very, very clean UI over here. Vivo operating system has been pretty snappy is what I've experienced. As you can see over here, you have the Jovi Home. Jovi, I think, is their AI system. 
because if you go over here you don't have google feed you have something like google feed but you don't really have google feed this is jovi home you do get news sports digital well-being and all those things over here this is maybe vivo's way of doing it but if you click here you do get the google feed as you can see so now you are on google feed and you can switch to jovi home as well right so if you ask me the 120 hertz experience on this particular rom or this particular port is not really that great because it's it's there it's fine but it's not smooth it's something like you would experience on a poco x3 pro with stock rom it is sort of laggy at the same time you have this persistent notification over here stating the system's special data has been corrupted you can restore by downloading system updates and stuff so that is something you'll have to ignore and live with. You do see that you have the battery indicator over here and then you have all these quick tiles. Now, these quick tiles are something that I have gone ahead and arranged them based on the way I wanted to explore them. For example, if you go to S Capture. So if you go to the S Capture mode over here, you have different types of, you know, screenshots and screen recordings, long screenshot, rectangular screenshot, funny screenshot. Funny screenshot is something in which you can take uh, screenshots in different ways, including a doodle screenshot and stuff like that. So that's something neat. Now, apart from this, you don't really have a lot of customization in FunTouch OS. Now, I see the reason why, you know, FunTouch OS has not been ported off lately because this is not exactly like MIUI, but then it's, it's more or less there. It's not really something that you look forward to using or not really OS because of which you would go ahead and buy a device, right? Now, as far as the apps in this particular ROM is concerned, there are very few applications. You don't even get a camera application. And now all of a sudden my Google camera go has sort of stopped working as well. That's really, really weird. Right now on the home screen, if you long press, you get home settings in which you have very, very basic functionalities. As you can see over here, you don't really have a lot of options. Then you have your widgets that work absolutely fine. Okay. And apart from this, you have wallpapers. You do have some very, very beautiful wallpapers though, but you won't install a complete ROM for a wallpaper, right? Anyways, moving on to the multitasking over here. The multitasking is pretty decent, pretty fast and uh, 120 Hertz is doing a great job. Now, in some applications, you will see that it does give you a lot of additional options. For example, uh, just recently, I saw an app get three to four options. So you do have floating windows, you do have split screen multitasking, and you do have, you know, a couple of other options like app info and stuff present. Now, you do have the Vivo app store, you do have Vivo.com, you Vivo cloud. So you do get the Vivo bloatware over here as well. Well, my say is that if you are porting a ROM, Please just go ahead and try to keep it debloated as much as you can, right? Now, if you go to settings over here, say you go to about, this is based on the Vivo V20 that we are talking about. This is FunTouch OS 11 Global based on Android 11 and the model number is 2040. So that might, that might be some Vivo device. And let's see, does it tell us what security patch we are running? Device name, phone storage, processor, model and hardware. Yeah. Uh, it should also give us software information. Anyways, the, you know, update will be pretty, pretty old. So nothing to see there. If you go to display and brightness, you don't really see a 120 Hertz mode, but although 120 Hertz is enabled and it does work fine. Some, you know, additional features like ambient light effect and charging animation and all these features are working fine. So that's a plus. It does make you feel that, you know, your device is running on a different operating system. In security, you do have fingerprint. You don't really have the face unlock over here. And just like MIUI security, you have that over here. Phone is not encrypted. And apart from this, if you talk about safety net, the safety net is not passing as well. The safety net test fails. Your device doesn't show as certified in the Google Play Store. Although as far as DRM info is concerned, it does say that you have Wido and L1 certification, but I've not tried to go ahead and, you know, try to play some HD content and stuff on that. Now, before we actually go ahead and end this particular video, let me actually show you the benchmark numbers, which are nothing to write home about. But nonetheless, I've ran them, I've tested this ROM for you. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Now, the CPU throttle to 
79 percent of its max performance average score was 214 895 gips so if you look at the average score we are doing 214,895 gips and remember this is a mi 11x with a snapdragon 870 which can score up to 250,000 plus points so not really a great score if you go further and you talk about geekbench the story sort of continues over here now this is something that I wanted to show you. See how colorful this is? This is basically their game turbo. CPU, GPU optimized, RAM optimized, touch optimized, network optimized, thermal management policy enabled. So let's hit OK over here. Now, this is the game bar that they have over here. There you go. Apart from this, you don't really have a lot of options. Anyways, let's not get into that. So 874 single core, 3110 multi core, decent scores, not something great, right? So in CPU throttle test and even Geekbench, we are getting mediocre scores. We are not really getting a very, very high score. This is a step in the right direction. They've started porting the Funtouch OS to our Mi 11X. And after two or three releases, they will be able to fix a lot of issues that are there. For example, most of the times when I try to scan the fingerprint, the device will reboot. There are, you know, proximity sensor is not working. So definitely this is not a daily driver, but if you feel adventurous and you don't want to buy a Vivo phone to try their software, you can probably flash it, experience it and come back to stock ROM or whatever stable Android custom ROM you want to use. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.